What is going on, my everythings? It is your girl, Jenny A, and I am back with another... Ah! Uh -uh. <laughs> I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap right on into your energy and let's see what you need to know. The Three of Swords. This is a razor blade. Some, some truth. When you see the swords... You know, and blades, all right, with blood. Um, it's It signifies truths, hard truths that's cutting somebody deep. I'm hearing somebody screaming. Like, um, like, honesty. Like, you know, the truth hurts sometimes, y'all. That's why it's depicted in the three of swords. Okay? The truth hurts also, um, be careful with, like, watch yourselves when it comes to, um, negative, excuse me, you know, when Empress ta starts tapping, y'all, somebody heard some, some, something, somebody argued, somebody, there was words exchanged or truth, you know, with this Aries new, um, this Aries full moon, okay, also, it's given snake, um, S, the letter S, could be very significant to you at this time, but there's a blade here. The, the, the truth already has been revealed. That's why you see the, 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 the blood. It already cut somebody deep, okay? Somebody could have found out that somebody went on a date. Somebody could have found out that somebody's cooking for somebody or just being present somewhere else, okay? The three of swords, sorrow. All right. Um, somebody could think about this a lot in a bath. Okay. Spirit, give me more on the sorrow, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Justice. <gasps> it's the truth. This is justice. Somebody said something. Somebody did something. Somebody, I'm here removed with integrity. The, the, the choice has been made. The decision has been made. All right? And justice is so blind in this situation because the truth has, has set somebody free, but it's like something had to be destroyed in order to be made fair. All right? Something had to be destroyed in order to be made fair because you guys been treated unjustly. So, say if you were in a relationship and somebody cheated or, or you know how it's the runner and the chaser? All right? And then now... You are, you are elevating or you have done something. Like the shoe is on the other foot here, all right? And that is the only way it, it is going to be brought back into fairness and balance. If somebody feels how you felt when they did some unjust things to you, all right? This decision that you had to make, whether you are a man or a woman, it was hard, it was difficult, but you knew it was right because you knew this person was wrong or they did wrong or something. So it's like you living in your truth has hurt this person more than they try to hurt you. You standing on business and not reconsidering your decision to like cut them off or something like that is really eating them up. So this, so it's like you had to destroy this person with the truth or with the decision after enduring unjustified things to you. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this energy.
Yup, abundance. Somebody about to be celebrating. Somebody has made the right decision, but in order to receive this celebration, this abundance, all right, happy birthday to somebody, okay, with this, um, it's like a divorce party or a separation, like, you know how when you leave a job, all right, and you find something better or you just feel better, all right, the abundance is coming after Something or someone had to be destroyed by the truth. All right. You somebody had to feel what you felt. All right. And this abundance, this happiness, peep this person never thought you would you would see the light of day. All right. It's like what they what they what somebody meant for you actually like reversed and is now on the other foot. Somebody may have thought you would be sad and crying and devastated without them. And you actually happy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody probably made it hard or pushed you away. And now that you're away, you happy. So like whatever that was meant for you in this unjustified act literally was your saving, was your, was your savior. What was looked at as... A missed opportunity or something was actually like your blessing, like somebody doing you wrong or somebody doing some sort of unjustified thing to you, wrong doings, all right, holding you to something. It didn't work out in their favor. What was meant for you actually has them feeling like whatever feeling, whatever sorrow somebody like meant for you, right, was treating you like that. So you could it it it. It fell on them because the outcome was not you in sorrow, was not you devastated, was actually the catalyst for you to stand on your truth and be honest with yourself. Okay, so there's a lot of celebrations here, y'all. Okay, because what was meant for you has completely turned around in your favor. Okay, sorrow was not meant for you. Okay, it wasn't. This sorrow that somebody caused you or tried to cause you, it was meant to tighten you up. It was meant for you to stand on business and see what was going on. It was meant for you to see that this person was not supposed to be involved in your abundance because they, was, they probably was jealous of this. You celebrating. You going out. Okay? But let me tell you, the shoe has, has switched all right, roles have been reversed. And because of this, somebody don't know what to do because it wasn't never meant to, to happen like this. You know, when you see the sorrow and somebody is being cut deep from truth, like the truth is cutting somebody deep, that means that somebody did not think it was going to go this way for you. Somebody never thought in a million years justice will find you. Justice is blind. When you see justice is blind, that means God had an influence all right the universe had an influence okay because what's for you can never be taken by a villager all right your blessings can never be taken it can only be delayed so cheers to you happy birthday to you celebrations to you all right because what was meant for you has been destroyed in order for you to be made brand new again all right. The ace of swords, truth. All right, somebody fell from grace. You have completely revoked somebody's title in your life. You have taken back your power. You have said something. You have spoken honesty. You have cut somebody loose. Somebody's cut off. The truth has set you free. Ace of swords, y'all. All right, literally. You moving on what you know to be true, all right, about something or somebody has literally turned the wheel in your favor, okay, literally. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this sorrow. Please give me more on this sorrow. This is the three of swords, heartbreak, disappointments, failure. Okay, mission incomplete.
Spirit, give me one of sorrow, this three of swords. Oh, wow. The sun. Somebody lost their family. Somebody lost a person that they thought that they was going to start a family with. All right. The sun card is literally celebrating new life. All right. Birthdays. Um, you know. Evolving. New, you know, just newness. New beginnings. All right. The sun card. Something could be happening on the 19th. Tomorrow. Okay. I'm hearing tomorrow, tomorrow. Then. Wait, how we go? Um. The sun will come out tomorrow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So it's sun where you at. There's new blessings where you at. There's brighter days where you at. There's, there's new life that you are creating where you at. All right, so somebody is in deep regret that you have moved on. All right, they say so. Their words cannot affect you no more. For a lot of you guys, you starting a new family. Something significant is happening tomorrow where it's going to feel so, you're going to feel so happy. All right, the sun is bringing happiness, is bringing joy, is bringing something to live for. Oh my gosh, so that's the sorrow. It is cut. Somebody probably thought you wasn't never gonna move on. You never was gonna have children again. You never was gonna find a family again. And here you go. All right, yeah, this is hidden. This is hidden. The moon card. This full moon in Aries. Spirit, give me more on his justice card, please, and thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. Strength. Divine Feminine. All right, somebody that is stable, somebody that is secure, all right, and a foundation, somebody that is strong in mending things together, all right, holding things, putting things, solidifying things together. Okay, this is also a talent, a skill, okay? This is definitely mother, the queen of pentacles to the sun. A great mother, a great wife, all right? Somebody that is very strong in resources, all right? Somebody that is very strong in material things, love, connections, resources, money, stability, all right? Houses, cars, financial decisions, chemistry, Okay, there's a ring on your finger, all right? You have earned the crown. So somebody may have made a decision, all right, to choose a queen of pentacles and start a new life, all right, because it's stability there. It's creativity there, all right? It's bonding there. It's love, okay, resources, inspiration, okay? Good decision making, motivation, all right, talent. Yeah, pack somebody packing a bag, y'all. The three of wands to the three of wands. This is literally like a celebration of leaving, departing, detaching, all right, having another opportunity, having something to rely on, having a new option, a new choice. All right, I'm hearing in three days, three weeks, or three months. Okay, pack your bags. You are leaving. This might even be a trip, all right? A birthday trip, a vacation for your birthday, all right? It don't even got to be like fall. It could be just like a road trip or just a destination, even a friend's house. But they're celebrating here, all right? This could even be celebrating a move, all right? Celebrating a relocation, celebrating detaching from this person or thing. Spirit, give me more on this Ace of Swords. And three days, three weeks. If for some of you guys, you're going to get a phone call in three hours. Look, something is baking in the oven. Something is almost done. 
all right? Whatever y'all are working on, it requires a lot of undivided attention. It requires you, you know, paying attention, checking on it every once in a while, okay? Uh, you're going to get some sort of news, communication, okay, that something is baking in the oven, something is soon to be done, something is about to be ready, all right? This is also giving birth, all right, like a bun in, a bun in the oven, all right? Something is baking, okay? All right, the Queen of Pentacles is also a outstanding cook. All right, an outstanding baker. Okay, comfort food. All right, but the Ace of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles, baby. Communication coming in that something is almost done, something is almost ready. All right, to be announced or to be given. Spirit, give me more on this sorrow and the sun. What caused this hard truth to be revealed? What caused this truth to cut somebody, excuse me, deep? I'm seeing dollar signs. You got three, three, three here. You got the three of swords, the three of wands twice. Oh my gosh, drama. All right, so somebody got cut off because they're filled with chaos and drama. All right, they are surrounded by a spirit of envy, jealousy, and retaliation. All right, the mask is off. All right, somebody knows that they've been jealous of them the whole time. They are very envious of their prosperity. All right, for some of you guys, they are even envious of your children. Okay, literally. Yeah, so this person is in sorrow that they got cut off. That all of that envy, jealousy, and retaliation did not survive. All right, did not win. The mask is off. Yeah, somebody is a hot mess. All right, this is somebody that is surrounded by chaotic energy. All right, they are completely bummed out and a lot of reflection is needed. This is somebody that has completely lost themselves. All right, to the fact that somebody is no longer attending to this, this type of energy. All right, literally, somebody is allowing things to be. Somebody is allowing this person to take care of their own, their own stuff. All right, this person is a hot mess that is filled with drama. All right, and thought that somebody was going to settle for this type of energy. And because somebody did not have to settle, there's a new opportunity that has been brought, all right? Somebody is left to deal with this on their own, all right? To heal from envy, jealousy, and retaliation. To stay out of drama and to clean up, clean up their act. All right, you could have had another child with somebody and left this energy alone, but um, this is what somebody, somebody's surrounded by this energy. All right, and somebody is left to deal with that on their own. That is nobody's responsibility but somebody else's. All right, jealousy, envy, those are personal problems that you got to deal with. Drama, all right, being a hot mess. Like coming home, you know, to like a, a very filthy house, all right? And a lot of things could be the cause of that, but you have to take back control being in a spirit of retaliation, envy, and jealousy, ain't going to help this hot mess of the energy somebody's in. This is filth. This is chaotic, um, unstable energy. Okay? Somebody allowing that to be and allowing fate to play out. Somebody is not willing to get in the middle of somebody's karma no more. Somebody sees this, this truth. Somebody sees now, like, somebody don't have the rose-colored glasses um, on for this person or will somebody see clearly who this person is if, if this person never showed their true colors all right and how messy they are they did all right there was some sort of action or some sort of awareness that y'all see like this person is dirty this person is disgusting this person is not together you cannot deal with this all right all of this is karma that you're stepping into all right 
So y'all not y'all not willing. Y'all really see somebody for who they really are. And that's a hot mess filled with drama, y'all. Y'all really see. It's like spirit has put the truth in your face. Two, two, two on the clock. There's no like, there is no more second guessing what you was already feeling about this person. All right. Y'all can even feel like a sense of sorrow that y'all had a child with this person. Okay. That's how bad it is. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this justice. With this queen of pentacles. Somebody could have been also influenced by their mother. All right. Somebody mother could have stepped up to the plate and said, you know what? Get rid of this person. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I birthed you. Look, pretending somebody true colors have shown, like if somebody was trying to hide that they, they weren't drama filled or they weren't envious or jealous or filled with fighting and retaliation, it showed, all right? Somebody showed their true color. Somebody is, is being seen as somebody that is not authentic, that they need drama, all right? They need these things. Somebody is... Has somebody, it's been revealed to you guys that this person was pretending to be a good person. This person was pretending to be clean, all right? Only cleaned up when you came over, all right? This person was pretending to be happy. All right? Everything that was hidden from you by this person, you are now seeing, all right? Full, clear. Look, the baby boom. And the reason why they are crashing out like this is because of this baby bump coming soon, y'all. Because you are treating somebody really good or you could be this person where you're growing and you glowing. All right? Ain't no retaliation, no hot mess over here. All right? Ain't no disrespecting going over here, going on over here. All right? So somebody, there has been some truth revealed about you guys moving on. And starting a whole new family after seeing somebody true colors and having another option. Look, a lot of children. All right, it says blended families, forced and adoption. So right now, one of the things that could be having somebody crash out is blending or fostering or adoption. Like just kids, like they don't want, it looks like they want to be the only person that has that or something like that. Okay. But there's a baby bump coming soon. It says, children, look, it's worth the wait. All right, it's worth the wait. All right, let things be. Allow fate to play out because a baby bump is coming soon. All right, you don't need to, to be involved in any type of jealousy or envy or retaliation. Okay, let whoever this is or if you're doing this, um, clear the air. The air has been cleared. All right. Somebody has moved on and started another family and is very happy, very stable, very secure, all right, and very content. All right, somebody made the decision to be present in that child's life. Somebody made a decision to be present in that woman's life. Somebody made a decision, all right, and this was so blind. Somebody never thought in a million years that somebody will move on and honor and commit to somebody that they are honored to have a child with. Somebody never thought that's why the justice is going to be blind. Somebody probably treated somebody as if they were worthless or they weren't a good parent or didn't have the opportunity to be. And now they're going to be shown who they really are with a whole new life. Okay, that's how karma is. Karma is not bad or good. It's simply the results of your actions. So if you don't value something the first time, spirit will send in something for you to really see what you like, kind of like missed out on. So that way you won't never do that again. All right, so that's what's happening. Somebody may have not valued somebody as a parent or in their life as a lover or something like that. And now somebody is standing on business with somebody else for real. Okay, literally. Spirit, give me more on this three of wands and three, the three of wands twice. All right, this was a successful detachment. This was a successful breakup. All right, where it was a good decision to leave, y'all. For real. And not compromise. 
right? The justice card, when the swords are down, there's no more room for compromising. There's no more room for negotiation. When the swords are up, yes. Okay. So this person is not going back and forth with them. They have made a decision to commit. Especially that somebody is pregnant. All right. Yeah, look. This is Divine Feminine coming in and saying, this is this, that. That is done. It's a family here. All right. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this three of wands twice. Look. They have met, met their true divine counterpart. That relationship was a karmic relationship. It never was supposed to last. All right. This is your divine masculine and divine feminine that you have chosen to stand by. All right. Yeah. Letting it be because you guys care about one another deeply. Passionate about one another. This is where you at. All right. So you kind of like you're starving this other situation. All right. The best way. To end something is to starve it, is to stop feeding it. So a lot of you guys are no longer feeding into this hot mess. A lot of you guys are no longer feeding into the drama and the chaos because you know that this person is hanging themselves. You see it. And when you make a... a when you, when you make a, a touch, like when you come to a terms with you don't have to do nothing, somebody is hanging their own self by being in this energy, all right, you starve it. You start feeding this other situation. You start giving to this other abundant, beautiful situation, all right, and that will soon end, all right, divinely. It's divine order, all right? The more you stop feeding the situation and you starve it, it will end. All right, allowing things to be because you already know somebody. Y'all already know that this. You, you already know where this person is headed. You already know that ain't nothing good coming out this person because of all of the mess that they have chose to dis disregard. I mean, like to not to go unseen. All right, so y'all are seeing. Y'all made the decision to be like, you know what? I cannot keep stepping in this in a way of this person's karma. This person is a hot mess. They all they want to do is fight, argue. All right, they are showing their true colors, something that you probably never seen before. You probably seen stuff, but nothing like what they doing now. All right, so instead of you feeding into that and blocking your blessings, all right, you're choosing to feed another situation. All right, something that is feeding you back. All right, literally. Passion. It literally says can't get enough of each other. And there go those kids. Y'all going to have a lot of kids. All right. They love the way you treat their kids. You love the way they treat your kids. This is a lot of kids, y'all. Look, worth the wait again. So it's going to be a lot. I'm hearing like a lot of screaming. You going to be screaming in the bedroom, <laughs> making kids. They going to be screaming because um, a baby bump coming soon. A baby bump coming soon. All right. So scream. The movie scream. <laughs> Y'all could be having movie night. So spirit, look, a new soul contract, many options, choosing one out of, out of many. Because you didn't stick around like an option, because you knew you were the choice, you have been chosen. Somebody chosen you. You've chosen somebody out of many options. All right, expect moving in together, expect new keys, all right? But this is a new soul contract, okay, where there's a choice here, all right? Contract signed to work together on and choosing one out of many. You were the choice. They were your choice, okay? So you could be literally living with somebody, yeah, y'all gave back those keys. For some of you guys, you lived with somebody, and now you have a new opportunity, you have a new home, like, God is doing this big one on my masculines and my feminines. Whoever's going to resonate with this, y'all, because you know a lot of people going to watch this. Y'all giving back them old, outdated, ancient keys, all right, that was kept opening up the door to drama, to filth, to retaliation, all right? Y'all gave back, y'all moving on and releasing the past and choosing a new, brighter key, a new, updated, modern key, 
all right so wow letting go the relationship is growing all right expect this relationship to change and grow because now something is a closed casket when one door opens another one when one door closes another one opens but you gotta lock that door you cannot leave any any room for somebody to walk in that door and in, in your new opportunity all right so this is a complete starving of a situation that old energy is completely blocked out it's completely closed it's not the right time and they miss it they miss the alignment all right with the chaos with the drama with the with the fakeness pretending all right not being their authentic self so i love you guys and i hope this helps